Hello again everyone, my name is Jogdog and welcome to another episode of Victoria 3. Um, we... Well, it looks like the North German Federation Civil War has ended. But our own efforts now are going to be against Egypt. Uh, we do have quite a few buildings queued up. That's the standard. Uh, Leinster, you need another railway. So if I go balance, God, we just need tools. We need so many tools. Is there any way I can improve the amount of tools we can make? We've already got steel tools, we've got assembly lines. No is the answer. The only way it's going to happen is more tooling workshops. tools. So we are into 1882 now. We are getting uh, quite far along in the game. Egypt has had a major revolt breakout which suits me uh, very nicely overall. I think we're going to go for the feminism tech. And that's going to allow me to do uh, women, uh, women's suffrage. More workforce ratio, dependent enfranchisement. And we give women an equal vote, most importantly. So I really want... Go for the additional minting. More money is always helpful. Uh, Sinai is isolated. They actually gave up the Sinai. Interesting. I'm very happy that's the case. Uh, we need more railways. I think we might go for Basra next. But I'm going to wait until after the Grand Expi uh, Exhibition, so infamy isn't a problem. Loyalists are actually improving significantly. Radicals are actually being tamed to some degree. So this is all good news. Needs to make Egypt a protectorate. Synthetic plants. So you produce dye. I don't think we need to actually use that just now. Instead, we're just trying our best to actually get enough tooling shops up. Uh, 
electrics industries. I could make some telephones. That could be interesting. Bubble tools, iron lead, sure. Some uh, new products built. Right, in terms of assets, uh, we've got 19 million in the bank. I can declare some more interests. thing I can do, and I actually do need to do, is, well it's not the only other thing I can do, but it is something important, uh, I need more government admin, because our institutions are expensive, yo, although we are going to be getting a thousand of it back after the Suez survey is done. Fabric trade routes. Grain is our main export still. Right, 10 weeks until social, uh, social security is maxed out. Uh, GDP per capita is easily the highest for us. GDP is just highest as well. Closest is France. Uh, the IRL, big nations. The US is significantly down on size. The North German Federation, I think, isn't as strong as it uh, could have been. Gold fields depleted. That's fine. They can go elsewhere. Right, we probably need even more tooling workshops. Are we just um, exporting a bunch? Yeah, we have a... F well, no. No, we just don't. It's just every building needs tools. Hmm. Uh, the music seems to have gone very quiet. There we go. It's back. Guess more motor industries could be helpful. I need power plants more than anything. I think the next up is probably more railways.
that's going to take a while. Even with our massive uh, industry, that's going to take a while. Plus 100 prestige. Excellent. And now we can think about going after Basra. Politania has got a revolt going on, as does Russia. We do, with Radical Sierra Leone, again. It's like the fourth time we've had a revolt here. Uh, we are going to navally invade. Should be easy enough to crush. Excellent state of our road networks track the engineers from all over our nation. Now want to work with us in various interesting ways. Uh, increased road drainage. Hmm. Better drainage system is a prior priority. And we're going to build the Suez Canal as well. Excellent. Right, uh, iron quads. We should probably start making some. Uh, gonna survey Panama next. So electric industries needs to be level five. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna subsidize you for a bit. Public transit, I need public motor carriages. So Urban Centre needs public motor carriages. And then motor industries need to do automobile production. Right, let's check this out. So if I want to do automobile production, means engines are going to go up heavily. However, if I do public mo uh, that's a lot less laborers needed. Also, you should probably be publicly traded. Uh, so we want assembly lines, which means oil is going to increase. Automobile production. Okay, we'll test it out, see how that goes. Uh, ironclads and rubber, I need more rubber. Okay, uh, 
uh, import goods shortages, I need oil. Which only Scandinavia really produces. Suffrage. Okay, my workforce ratio is good. So, whaling stations. Now we start thinking about taking Basra and Mosul. I think that's mainly where oil is going to be at this stage. They're already fighting in a war. Not just yet. Alright, so oil is one of the main ones. Oil engines, etc. Yeah, whaling alone is not going to be enough. Bass people uh, migrating as well. Reinforce Sierra Leone again, excellent. Right, power plants are going to be done next. We dip want a diplomatic play. We want the conquer states. We want to conquer Pan Panama, I think. So I need to damage relations with New Granada and the Ottoman Empire. Which will take time. Uh, is there anything else? Expand the application, cash reserves, etc. need to be higher. I actually got freedom of trade. Also, I need to actually choose a uh, another thing here. Uh, we'll go over psychoanalysis. So I think public schools is going to be the next one. Guaranteed liberties could be good. I think elected bureaucrats would be preferable, but uh, total separation. Yeah, we're gonna go total separation.
Well, GDP is going to be approaching 400 million very soon. We're at 60 million people within the Empire. Uh, motor transportation, the question arises, focus on public or private? Oh, make sure people can get more automobiles. So we need rubber, rubber, rubber. And I think we'll go back to production and we're probably going to be getting... Uh, actually no, we're going to go elevators next. We spend a frankly ridiculous amount on government wages. Plus 10% momentum for the Communist Party. Mysteriously mismanaged rail network for two years. That would be kind of funny. We'll just go for the stressed railway though. Getting from farms to factories is actually really difficult, it feels like. deal with our rubber issues for the most part. Uh, do, 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 do. Cool. Intelligentsia gets a new leader. Fine by me. Lancashire needs a another railway. We now need more convoys again. about the next laws. Compulsory primary school. Might get the uh, Whig party out. Nice 10% manufacturing tax income isn't great, but it's not the worst either. That's the various railways being built. The Suez is going to be done. Uh, in the next 10 years or so, well, less. Even less. Uh, I don't need anywhere near as many government buildings. I could just get rid of some of them. A rubber boom. Uh, additional throughput and migration attraction. Excellent. West New Guinea needs another railway. So I think one of the next things I need to focus on is... We 
We definitely need more groceries. about half a million people unemployed. would really like to pass this one so I can get uh, level 5 education. Although in preparation I should be getting public schools soon as well. Or maybe not in preparation. Uh, once I've done it to maximise benefits of it. So eighteen eighty four. We're very much getting into uh, almost what fifty years in now. Plus 10% chance. annoy the, uh, the industrialists a little bit. They've already annoyed them, so that's a little bit more. I don't want the children to be hurt. The quicker we can transition away from that, the better. Jobs for our pops. So anything I can do. No, expel diplomats. Okay. Now I can go after uh, the Ottomans. Next up would be Baghdad, Mosul, there's Dea Azor, and then that should be it. 
That, I think all that oil is actually over there. Gonna need to activate the various conscripts. any uh so we need an oceania hq general and you'll do fine my sort of front oh we have a rebellion over here I need to reassert control over in India, I think. But we'll deal with that as and when. We've got French people migrating to us now. Cool. People from all around the world. I think I'm going to stop there. Once again, everyone, thank you very much for watching this series, and I'll see you in the next one.